Hello! Festive Jim, back again. Extra festive this week. Alright, welcome back to the internal of Jim Cipriano. I am Jim Cipriano, and this week we are getting festive, but not too festive? I'm talking the office holiday party. Today we are going to be covering a couple of topics, the office holiday party being the focus, the importance of it, how to utilize it to your advantage. Also going to be talking about how festive is too festive, basically how not to behave at your holiday party. And lastly, we are going to be talking about the dress code, first and foremost. Now, a great man once said, you're not going to make your career at the holiday party. However, you can absolutely break it. Now, that wise man was the father of our very own Tim Moylanen. And Papa Moylanen was very correct in saying that. I've seen so many people walk of shame it back into the office on Monday after they have done something just irreversible at the office party. Hopefully, after this episode, you'll be able to avoid that behavior. Now, first off how you want to use the office party. Now, what I like to do is I like to go in with a game plan. Say hello to a couple of people, pinpoint the higher ups that I've really never had a chance to meet. A lot of people look at the holiday party like it is just this excuse to go in and get hammered. Depending on where you work, that's a very bad idea. Some places are progressive and they like to have a party. Other places offer alcohol, but you're gonna to want to dial it back a little bit. A couple things to do ahead of time. Find out who you can bring. Don't just assume that you can bring a plus one because one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen happen is a plus one get turned away at the door after she was all dressed up and looking pretty. It's one of the saddest things you can imagine. It wasn't my plus one, uh, but she looked upset. Now, if you do bring a plus one, this is important. Introduce them to everyone. Don't just tote them around like a child on a leash. Introduce them to everyone because as a plus one, it's very uncomfortable when you're in a room full of people that you don't know and you're not being introduced. And thank whoever put the party on your boss, whoever funded it, whoever organized it, it goes a long way to show a little bit of appreciation. How festive is too festive? This is basically how not to act. Personally, I have a pretty big personality outside of work. Inside of work, I dial it back. There's a fine line down the middle of that where the office holiday party lies. Now, when you throw spiced eggnog into the mix, that line tends to get a little blurry. So here's what I do. I cap myself. I only have one, two, maybe four, five, seven drinks, all right? But I space them out over the period of an entire evening, okay? This is a marathon, people. It's not a sprint. Pace it out. Is it really worth the hacky joke to make a photocopy of your butt? Okay, that one's a classic, I agree. But is it worth it? You have to walk back in Monday, and I'll tell you what. You can either be walking out with your head held high saying, I made an impression last night on the right people, or do you want to walk in on Monday like this? Oh my god, I made an impression. Nog responsibly. Don't show up on an empty stomach to your office party and beeline for the bar. Don't sing. Unless there's karaoke, don't sing. If there's karaoke, probably avoid the singing anyway. You have to work with these people on Monday, folks. I can't say it enough. Keep it light. The office party is not a chance for you to run up to the CEO of your company and start stirring the pot with drama of people that you don't like, talking about it behind your back, or policy changes. This is a party. Keep it that way. Does this happen to be your first office party, a young blood? Well, let me give you some tips right here. People are already gonna assume that you're gonna be the drunkest one there. You know what will leave a great example of yourself? Don't be the drunkest one there. Lastly, I wanna to touch on the dress code. Is your ugly holiday sweater too much? This one, I think is fine. It's a pug with reindeer antlers on. It really just expresses some festivity. I like it, I think it's pretty harmless. However, there are definitely some raunchy sweaters out there. And no matter how subtle you think the raunchiness of your sweater is just know that someone's gonna find out what those stitched on reindeer are up to and when they do you better hope that it is not the wrong person right, so we're gonna wrap this up like a present what have we covered here today folks one the importance of the holiday party network 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 you're gonna want to hold off on the nog or at very least nog responsibly you're gonna want to keep it light do it up get festive look nice but just don't get too raunchy I'm gonna close it out with this you do have to work with these people. Hey, look at me. You do have to work with these people on Monday. Don't do the walk of shame. Give me something cool to talk about. Hey, how cool is Jim at that office party? No one has ever said that, but you get the idea. I'm Jim Sabriano. You guys have a very festive season, and I will see you next year. All right, you guys have a great night.